You don't have any medical records reflecting that you required any dental work during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? Uh, I don't know. I don't, rec I don't recall. You don't recall one way or another seeking dental care for any injuries you allegedly sustained? Uh, you asked me about if I had produced records or if I had records. That's a different question. Did you ever see a dentist or an oral surgeon as yes. a result of any injuries you sustained with Mr. Depp? Not about any injury I had from Johnny, no. And you don't have any medical records reflecting that you required any reconstructive work during your relationship with Mr. Depp, do you? I never required reconstructive work. So there would be no records. What you do have, Ms. Hurd, are pictures of Mr. Depp sleeping, though, right? The jury saw a lot of those. Yes. Okay. Ms. Hurd, let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1090, which is already in evidence. You took this photograph, right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. And you testified that this was taken in Tokyo in July of 2013, correct? Yes. So you decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep on the floor? He was passed out. That's a and yes. And I took a picture of him because he uh, wouldn't remember. He claimed he didn't pass out that way. And sometimes security would carry him like a baby into bed, get him changed, and he would be none the wiser. So. I started taking pictures of it so that he knew that it was real, that it had gotten this bad. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1091, which is already in evidence. You took this picture as well. Yes. And this is the picture that was taken in the Bahamas, right? It's one of them, yes. And this is a picture of Mr. Depp taking a nap on his tropical island? I believe he was on the nod, but as he would say. Sleeping on the nod they're, on his island? They're very different, in my opinion. And okay. yes, he is on the island. Right. On vacation? Uh, we were on vacation, yes. Okay. Let's also take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1092, which is also in evidence. We also took this picture, right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. I did. And this is another picture of Mr. Depp asleep in a chair? No, he was um, nodding off. Uh, sleep is different. When you're nodding off, you're high on drugs, didn't even feel the cigarette in his hand that had you know, been burning on his leg. Uh, it was cause for alarm for me, naturally, um, because I cared about him. Uh, it's your testimony under oath that Mr. Depp is holding a cigarette in this picture? He had been. You seem to really like taking pictures of Mr. Depp while he's sleeping, don't you? I hated it. I hated it. Let's look at Defendant's Exhibit 1094, which is also in evidence. You took this picture of Mr. Depp as well, didn't you? I did. You decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep with ice cream spilled all over him, right? He was nodding off and um, I was worried about how bad the medications and the medication change and the drug use had gotten where he wouldn't even feel ice cream or a lit cigarette on him and it scared me. So you really. took a picture of it? Yes, I, um, I wanted him to get help and Johnny's surrounded by enablers who clean up after him. Objection, and Your Honor, him. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes that she took this picture. It's still responsive here, Anna. The question was, did you take this picture? All right, I'll sustain the objection. Thank you, Your Honor. This isn't a very flattering picture of Mr. Depp, is it? No, it's not. You wouldn't agree that this is, or you would agree with me that this is an embarrassing scene, right? <sighs> yes, I think it's a part of getting help, is looking at it, mm -hmm. seeing it. But you sent this picture to one of your friends, didn't you? Uh, I don't recall. Um, if we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 252. We'll only be looking at the portion of this document. So if we could please call it Defendant's Exhibit 252A. 
2528. And for ease, we've gone ahead and redacted it. Okay. Yes, I was asking for support. That's correct. There's no question yet, Ms. Heard. So directing your attention, I'm going to move to admit um, exhibit 252A. Any objection? Any objection, Ms. Fredo? Could you turn turn on? Could you turn your microphone again? I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, I need to see it first because okay. I don't know what they redacted. Two five two. We redacted the identifiers and anything that's not misheard. Up or down? Text it. messages consistent with hearsay. Maybe we approach. Okay. Sir, does this refresh your recollection that you did, in fact, send this picture to your friend, Rocky Pennington? Yes, I did. And you sent it to her on August 7th, 2014 at 11.24 p.m., correct? That is correct. So you sent Ms. Pennington this picture of Mr. Depp with ice cream spilled on him, right? That is correct. And you wrote, quote, this is what I've been dealing with, end quote. Did I read that right? You did read that right. That's correct. And this is you protecting Mr. Depp? That is me getting support from my best friend. This is you supporting Mr. Depp? This is me getting support from my best friend. I also need support. You weren't afraid the, the monster would get upset that you took this picture? This was um, opiate Johnny. This is a uh, different version of him. This is opiate on the nod, Johnny. And you weren't afraid that opiate Johnny or the monster, as you called him, would get upset that you sent this picture to your friend? Well, he's all of those things. He, of course he could get upset. Of course, that's scary to me, of course. But it didn't stop you from sending this picture to your friend, did it? Why would it?
Mr. Depp's hand, right hand, is in his pocket, right, Ms. Hurd? In this yes, picture? that's correct. You also showed this jury pictures of cocaine. Do you recall that? Yes, that's correct. Let's please take a look at one of those. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 167A, which is already in evidence. Directing your attention, Ms. Heard, to a photograph. This is a photograph you took in March of 2013, right? That is correct. And this was taken at your apartment in Orange? Yes. And this is your breakfast table? That is correct. And it's your testimony that Mr. Dutt left this breakfast table just the way you took it? That is correct. So this is what the table looked like after Mr. Depp had been doing cocaine? Uh, well, clearly he has yet to snort these lines. There are four lines of cocaine on this table, right, Ms. Hurd? In this picture, I see four lines. There isn't any cocaine residue around those lines, right? Uh, I, not that I can tell, no. Doesn't really look like anyone's been doing cocaine off that table, does it? With all due respect, I'm not sure you know how that works. I'm asking if you do. You testified you've done cocaine. I have. Doesn't really look like Mr. Depp or anyone was doing cocaine off that table, does it? Uh, I beg to differ with you on that. When you snort cocaine, typically it goes into your nose. And there's it doesn't stay residue. on the table. There's residue from that cocaine when your lips and nose touch the table, right? Well, the tampon applicator next to um, the credit card, I mean, um, driver's license that you see is a device that uh, I believe my sister had taught him to use in order to put the cocaine uh, in your nose. Mr. Depp is a pretty heavy smoker, right? He is. And, and that's a cigarette in the ashtray in the back there? Um, back right? Yes, it looks like one of his hand rolls. There's no other cigarettes in that ashtray, are there? I see one cigarette. The one that's not smoked? That's correct. There's no ash in that ashtray either, is there? Uh, not that I can tell in this picture. It's pretty clean. In this picture, it looks like it, yes. It's a pretty neat table. Wouldn't you agree? Um. Depends on what you would call neat, I suppose. And you sent this picture to your friend, Rocky Pennington, as well, didn't you? I sure did. And when you sent it, you said, quote, look at my morning, or something like that. Is that right? Yay for mornings. So you have a habit of sending stage photographs to your friend Rocky, don't you? I had a habit of communicating with my best friend about what was going on in my life. You don't have any pictures of Mr. Depp actually consuming cocaine, do you? I don't think I have a picture of him mid-snort. No. You don't even have any pictures of Mr. Depp with cocaine. What do you mean by that? Holding cocaine, standing next to cocaine? Um... Sitting next to cocaine? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you haven't shown any of those pictures like that to the jury, have you? I don't know. I, no, I haven't. And you were never able to catch Mr. Depp with cocaine on film either, were you? I never tried. But you were able to catch him sleeping, right? Uh, I have seen him pass out in all sorts of places, yes. And you also captured a video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen that was played again for this jury today, uh, beating up some cabinets. Do you recall that? Sorry, say that again? You recall capturing Mr. Depp in the kitchen of one of his homes, beating up some cabinets? Yes, slamming things around, yes. So you took that video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen, right? I did, I did. And you took it on one of your iPad devices? I took it on my iPad. 
You were deposed in August of 2016 in connection with your divorce proceedings from Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. And you will recall that the video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen was released online the day before your deposition in August of 2016, don't you? That's correct. You're the one who released that video. Incorrect. Isn't that true? That's incorrect. I flew in from another place at the time. I remember learning about it when I landed. So it's just a coincidence that the video you took of Mr. Depp was released the day before you were deposed in connection with your divorce from Mr. Depp. I absolutely had nothing to do with that. I wouldn't even know how to do something like that.